the refrigerator, and I thought that was strange. I had never seen it before. But what really creeped me out was the light in the bathroom was started flickering, and I had water running. So I kind of snuck around the corner, and the water was on. As I started to walk away from the bathroom after cutting the water off, I kind of heard something behind me, and that was actually this door here that closed. That's when I really, truly got freaked out. Cody walks outside and calls his girlfriend to tell her what's been going on. She tells him to stay out of the house. I said, look, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to keep filming because I don't know what to expect. And when he does, he finds the kitchen in total disarray. All the chairs were on the floor, knocked over, all the cabinets were open. Nope, 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 nope. I said, nope, I'm going, I'm going back outside. And this, I don't know what this is. I, I got scared. After two hours, Cody finally musters up the courage to go back inside the house. I went through every single room looking for somebody, thinking maybe somebody had gotten in and they were just trying to scare me. I checked every room under every bed. He doesn't find anyone. The fourth or fifth time I had watched the video, I noticed something in the corner of the room, which is actually my daughter's room. So I screenshotted it and I just zoomed in on it. My heart just dropped. I could feel my face, all the blood in my face ran. I mean, it just, it scared me. It just looked like somebody watching me. I didn't sleep that night. 